What's up guys? This is Drew Fur from Xbox Live. Come at you with some more Borderlands. This is my Necromancer who I just recently got to level 50. And I'm about to run her through the slaughterhouse just like I did with my Gunzerker. This is uh, my build. I built her for Shock and Discord. Um, I didn't really care about doing much with the uh, Death Trap, because I really don't much care about it, but uh, it's pretty much just a support character for me. Really not a whole lot of anything else. So, we're going to run through the tree real quick here, and I'm just going to kind of go over everything I did with her. Uh, her tree's really weird. It's a lot different than the other characters in terms of how the skills are dispersed. Uh they're more spread out instead of concentrated into like separate trees with the exception of like best friends forever but uh so i mo i obviously didn't really use best friends forever except for cooking up trouble because you get health regen and i'm using that as a setup for uh later for blood soaked shields so obviously we're going to start by putting four into smaller lighter faster uh, it, and anarchy naturally you need smaller lighter faster to make anarchy work and I think that's why they set up this tree where the only way you could progress through it is to do both whereas with other characters the tree has 10 usable points instead of only 5 so anarchy I'm only using for discord I very rarely actually use anarchy for anarchy but either way it's a good thing to have so one point in anarchy, four points in the smaller, lighter, faster. Now, blood-soaked shields. This is really cool because anytime you kill an enemy, you immediately get 100% of your health. Or I'm sorry, 100% of your shield at the penalty of 5% of your health. So, with a Nova shield, that works out quite well because... You go down the shield Novas, you kill an enemy, it's back up ready to Nova again. Of course, Discord... Discord, uh, the way I got this set up, I'm discording pretty much all day long. I like Discord because I did the math on it, and uh, with the accuracy bonuses you get from that versus the accuracy penalties with Anarchy, uh, at about 30, 35, maybe 40 Anarchy stacks, when you pop Discord, you'll actually break even or just be a little over or under on the accuracy while still getting fire rate. Uh, bonuses and slowly uh, dwindling uh, gun damage bonuses as well so discord and anarchy work pretty well together as long as you do your stacks right like if you have a ton of anarchy discord's really not going to do much for you uh, other than give you some extra fire rate and the three percent health regen and uh, what's cool with that is that stacked on top of the 2% health from cooking up trouble, you get a 5% health regen. So at that point, you were pretty much getting 100% shield from blood soaked shields for free, which is pretty nice. And then, of course, Rational Anarchist and Typecast Iconoclast just put this in there to help build the uh, anarchy stacks a little bit so when I am getting anarchy I have a chance of getting a little bit more a little bit faster and then uh, but yes rational anarchist this is important especially with discording because uh, anytime if you have zero anarchy stacks the next time you would gain anarchy you instead gain 25 stacks so which could end up being 26 or 27 with Typecast Iconoclast, so, you know, you pop Discord, you run it, when it runs out, you kill something, boom, you got 25 stacks left, or back, you know, you can kill a few more people to get a couple more if you want, like I said, 30, 35 is pretty good, uh, and then, boom, you pop Discord again, so you're Discording all day long, it's pretty sweet, uh, so, that's how we got this tree, ordered cast tree going. So then over here, of course, we have more pep to increase our chances of status effects, burn, electrocute, etc., etc. 
The shock storm, whenever we do a critical hit, causes an electrical storm that deals electrocute damage and uh, also is caused by death trap when he attacks critical strikes. Uh, electrocute is status effect, shock is an elemental effect, so they, they occur differently. Uh, electrical burn, when the electrocute status effect takes place, uh, enemies have a chance of also bursting into flames, which right now is 36%, so one in three chance they'll burst into flames. And then shock and awe, so whenever we reload a gun, we're doing electrical explosion, damaging all nearby enemies. Uh, wires don't talk, increases shock and electrocute damage up by 30%, in addition to other buffs from other stats, uh, like a, more pep and my relic and class mod that I'm using. And then Evil Enchantress, we just dumped the last three into here for a little bit of extra damage on our uh, status effects. So that's the tree. Now we're going to uh, go over the gear and uh, then we'll wreck some stuff. So this is the gear I got set up. Of course, as you can see, I'm rocking a lot of gold. Uh, if you guys don't have any of this stuff, don't worry about it. You don't really have to farm hours on end to get any of this stuff. Just go online to any community site like GameFAQ or Xbox360Achievements.org or PS3Trophies.org. They have threads in their forums specifically for people looking for this stuff. Heck, I'll put my gamer tag in the description of this video. Give me a like, give me a comment, subscribe, you know, send me a message. I'll dupe this stuff for you. You know, and but it's really easy to set it up. Like seriously, all my characters except for my commando because I'm still working on him. But like uh, my necromancer, my gunzerker, my siren, my assassin—they're all rock and gold. And I, 99% of it was given to me. I didn't farm it. But anyway, so yeah, just go online. You know, send me a message. If I'm online, I'll give you whatever you're looking for. If I have it. If not. You can go to one of those other sites. Someone will have it. So, I was using Sledge's shotgun on her for a while. Because I got a shock version of it off of Hyperius the Invincible in the Pirate's Booty DLC. But, uh, you know, it, it, and it is a nice shotgun. But once you go conference call, you never go back. And I was using the conference calls before I tried Sledge's. So, I really just, eh. But this shotgun here the interfacer it's kind of like a conference call it has a similar effect I think you only have that one for shock resistant enemies so anyway uh, got the conference call then the analytical yellow jacket which is a pretty sweet uh, e-tech SMG I also keep a permasharp baby maker and an electrical sandhawk and yeah and of course, the binary thunderball fists, which is a pretty sweet pistol, because it does shock and it actually creates electrocute status effect. Uh, and then the redundant fibber. Uh, the fibbers are actually pretty sweet. You get that from Mal in the main game. Um, when I used to get them, I didn't think they were that great, so I didn't really hang on to them. But then when I actually started using them, I was like, wow, these are actually pretty sweet guns. But the tricky thing about the Fibber is uh, the stats are never true. That's why it's called the Fibber. So you got to play around with it and see what it actually does. I mean, obviously, look, it says it has a magazine size of 1,408. You can't even carry that much ammo. Uh, but either way, it's a really good gun. It does do some pretty heavy damage. Um, I was pulling crits on this thing for hundreds of thousands of damage. Then the Grounded Black Hole... Um, you can farm the black hole from the foreman in opportunity, but I never got him to drop a grounded. I could only get him to drop a regular one, so I did get this one from somebody else. But it's a sweet shield. It's better than the regular black hole because it actually grants you electrocution immunity, which the other one doesn't, and the stats are a little bit bigger. Um, but it's a Nova shield, and what's really cool about this one is when you Nova, it actually sucks enemies into you and then Nova blasts. So it'll suck the enemies in, it'll Nova blast, probably kill them, or at least get them close enough to death and they're right there so you can finish them off. You get the second win. Blood Soak Shields uh, procs. Then you got 100% shield again so you're good to Nova like, indefinitely. Like just continuous Nova Blasts. 
So it's a really, really good shield to have. Uh, longbow Quasar, actually, I'm going to switch that because I prefer the Stormfront. I keep both of them on me. Uh, the Quasar actually has higher stats, but I like the Stormfront better because it's an area effect grenade, so it continuously does damage. It doesn't just like pop and then that's it. And of course, the uh, Shock Relic for an additional 30% shock bonus, and the Wired Zapper Class mod for additional electrocute damage and an additional chance to stop uh, to shock, and then the buffs on our skills. So we're gonna wreck some stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.